right, Matt? We're getting set for UFC 251 from Fight Island, Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi, Matt. Our second fight on the prelims at 135 pounds between Carol Rosa and Vanessa Mello. Matt, I'm going to start right here because Vanessa Mello, a lot of people might recognize her from being the fighter in 2017 that fought while pregnant. Unknowingly, unknowingly, but still it happened. And so far in the UFC, two really tough fights. Yeah. In her debut, Irene Aldana, that was the fight. And the second one out, Tracy Cortez. Not going to take anything away from her, but she lost those two fights, and that's pretty good competition. For Carol Rosa, she comes in, wins a split decision over Lara Procopio, and in that one, an absolute firefight. She dropped her opponent late in the fight, and she kept pace the entire time. If you look at the significant strike percentages, absolutely insane in that one. And for Vanessa Mello, if we're talking numbers and percentages, and again, Tracy Cortez, Arena Aldana. If Aldana beats Holly Holm, probably going to get a title shot. So I'm still going to get into it. 3.64 against 6.8 to take. And her significant strike, or rather her striking defense, 28%. Those are just two fights against really good competition, but it's worth noting, noting she's taken a lot of damage in those two. So for Carol Rosa, all kinds of success on the regional scene. For Vanessa Mello, a little bit of a salty record. But what can we kind of take out of just Carol Rosa's debut and the overall body of work that Vanessa Mello has put in? So for Rosa, you know that the cardio is going to be there. If you go back and watch her debut, like you had said, she got knocked down in the third round, which is always a good sign. I mean, she can pick, carry your power late. Now, she's not really a powerful puncher. It's more just kind of like volume. And if you walk into a big shot, you're going to go down. But the cardio and the output that she was able to keep up over those three rounds is kind of insane. And for Mello, it is really hard to tell because... Tracy Cortez is good, but she's not nearly on the level of like an Arena Aldana, who again is one fight away from a title shot, which kind of deserves it now, to be completely honest. But uh, having fights against those kinds of competition is just really hard to judge your career at this point. What we know so far, though, is that she does have the best cardio in the world. Her grappling is good, but she's one of those grapplers who they'll go, they'll fight for that takedown, fight for that takedown, kind of burn themselves out going for the takedown. And if they don't get it, you're kind of a sitting target for the rest of the fight. And that really just plays into the game plan and the skill set of Rosa. And this is where it gets a little weird because Carol Rosa, great record, 12 and 3. She had the redemption win over Giselle Mojea in the fight before she came into the UFC. And these two are actually scheduled to fight uh, not that long ago, really. But then you look at the other two losses, Larissa Pacheco, who we've seen in the UFC, we saw in the PFL, and Melissa Gatto, who, when are we ever going to see her in the UFC? She keeps getting booked for fights, but a loss by Kimura there. Um, has some crazy wins, has a win from 2014 over none other than Jessica Andrade, but it's not that Jessica Andrade. So still, Carol Rosa has fought decent competition. Vanessa Mello with a heavier strength of schedule in just her last two. But again, I think it's the staying power of Carol Rosa. And you have to say, I mean, for Vanessa Mello, if she loses this one, that's probably it. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, uh, Vanessa Mello is really fighting for her career, so you really do hope that that kind of brings out the best in her. But even her at her best, I just don't think it's going to be enough to be Carol Rosa. And if you look over at the odds, Carol Rosa coming in here, overwhelmingly the favorite, minus 220, Vanessa Mello at a plus 180. If you look over on Tapology, out of all of the votes we have, 830 so far. 90% going with Rosa, 83% predicting decision, and I think everybody's spot on there. I know Rosa had a lot of finishes on the regional scene, but it was against fighters that, and we always talk about it, Jane the Finney. binary numbers, the one and one, the one and two, Jan Finney with a negative record, like 11 and 13 at the time. So I'm going to go with Carol Rosa. What do you think? Oh, I agree 100%. She'll probably get done by decision. I don't know if she'll get the finish, but it's always a possibility, I guess. I just don't see Vanessa Mello being able to kind of withstand that uh, onslaught that Rosa's going to just keep on putting on her throat through rounds. Hot Prospect and Carol Rosa both going with Rosa to get the win. You're not going to want to miss the rest of our predictions for the card. The entire card, UFC 251, with an extended look at the three title fights at the top. Keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks, Matt. And as we always say, let's, let's get, get into it. it.